Nearly five years to the day after Eric Garner died at the hands of police, federal prosecutors announced they won't bring charges against New York police officer Daniel Pantaleo, who had Garner in a chokehold. Garner's family is asking that Pantaleo at least be fired. Five years ago, my son said, I can't breathe 11 times. And today we can't breathe because they have let us down. Garner's death ignited a wave of protests against the NYPD. It also helped extinguish a controversial policing tactic known as stop and frisk. The idea was officers could temporarily detain and search anyone they reasonably suspected of having a weapon in order to reduce gun violence. At its peak in 2011, police used the tactic almost 700,000 times, but shootings and murders pretty much stayed at the same levels. What did happen was the number of stops of young black males exceeded the actual number of young black men in the city of New York. And 90% of the young black and Latino men stopped were innocent. We've been here for a long time. The cops constantly harassed us. They come here and see the same faces every day. It was horrible. I'm saying five years ago, and them cops was horrible to us. We sit here, we barbecue for the kids. Here they come, we having a disorderly barbecue. What is a disorderly barbecue? The relationship with the police in this community is complicated. I think it depends on how long you've been here. There's a lot of intentionality of you know, the police department reaching out and trying to be more present in the community, but it doesn't ignore the fact that there's just, there's history and hurt there, and I think we're, as a community, still trying to navigate the relationship with the police department. Every Garner death played out in so many ways in this community. I would say predominantly for those of us who are minorities, we all felt like it could have been us. And I got the chief of department job in November of 2014. And at the end of that month was the Ferguson decision, and then the Garner decision, and then uh, the protest. Those protested lasted you know, three or four weeks. At times it was three or 4,000 people. And one Saturday it was 30,000 people protesting against us. And in New York City, now, there are demonstrations every day, but this was different. This was directed towards us. Heads up! Don't shoot! Heads up! Don't shoot! At that time, I had 30, 34 years as a police officer. It was the most difficult time I've ever been through. And it, uh, it culminated in uh, the assassination of Joe Lou and Rafael Ramos. New York's finest, their badges banded in black, stood in silence at 2.47, marking the dark moment here on Tompkins Avenue in Bedford-Stuyvesant, when a gunman fatally shot officers Wen Jin Liu and Rafael Ramos. If anything is gonna make you change, it's gonna be tragedy. And uh, from that day forward, from the day we buried Joe Liu, I knew, and Bill Bratton knew that we had to change the way we do business. We embarked on it in May of 2015 with neighborhood policing. We actually came out in the academy together, so we've both been on. August will make five years. No, actually July. July will make five years. Uh, been in seven nine precinct our whole whole career. I'm from Brooklyn, Bed Stuy, Brooklyn. Born and raised. Still got majority of my friends out here, and uh, now. Uh, work out here. It's always fun to come back and see familiar faces. Now I'm in a uniform, so I get a lot of warm looks sometimes. I'm like, what do you do to ring the bell like 40 we times? We ask them to change the way they do business. Crime is down significantly, but with that, our arrests are down. Not everybody needs to get a summons. Not everybody needs to get arrested. That's the whole idea behind neighborhood policing. If you have the same cops in the same neighborhood every day, they know who is who. They know who the bad guys are. And as long as the enforcement is being done, it should be directed at people involved in violence and crime. Jordan. Yo. What up? What's up, man? How's everything? Good, good. You coming for practice? 
I'm not just working out a lot. They let you work out over there? Oh, all right. All right, all right later, bro. Everybody was excited for me to become a police officer and to help continue to, you know, help people. That's what I enjoyed doing. They wanted me, they wanted to see me follow my dreams. So for me, it was positive. Mm. Well, for me, it was secretive. Um, only people that really knew was my immediate family. My wife, my kids, my parents, handful of cousins, if that. Ultimately, sometimes it was a little challenging putting on a uniform and hearing a lot of ridicule because I decided to put that uniform on. Sometimes people won't accept your decisions and they feel that when you join a department like this, that you aren't staying true to your culture and to your values. But I specifically joined to make a difference. How are you guys? Hey, Those make a man. Hey, I'm just saying that. I, this is my uniform from the other channel. It's been something that has allowed relationships and a little bit more trust for some people in our neighborhood. It, it's um, really allowed I'm sorry, Jay. some things to be a lot easier to accept and deal with, especially during these times when there's been so much policing issues. They stay really involved. They check on you just to check on you. And um, they've been a great help. Good to see you, man. Good to see y'all. Always a pleasure. Appreciate you. Good man. I think they realized after a certain amount of time that all we wanted to do was sit here and, and enjoy ourselves and have fun. We weren't starting no trouble. We weren't fighting. We weren't using drugs. We weren't doing anything illegal. <laughs> we had the sergeant come here and say, you know, we got a call that y'all having something disorderly. I came through here twice. What's disorderly? <laughs> What's disorderly? He, he come out and he said, let me get a frame and let me get a water. <laughs> and he pulled off. That made us so happy. What's important about that is the police took the time to find out who we are. Plain and simple.